If you have been a part of my Discord or have been following the channel a bit, you know that I live completely off grid. My electricity comes from solar panels, which is there and up there, and I have a well where I get my water from. The thing is, solar panels are pretty useless without energy storage. And I have been having some troubles. So this is my inverter setup. Open the door. You can see the mess here. We have a ton of old batteries. And yeah, as good as cheap batteries are, they don't last for very long. And I kind of have developed a hatred towards lead acid batteries. They suck. So here's the system. We have a smaller charge controller for the panels up there. And we have the bigger charge controller for the panel over there. Let's see. And currently I have these two batteries connected. And yeah, you can see the mess here. These are pretty much gone at this point. This one here is pretty much shorted, never goes over 10 volts. And this one is always overcharging and making hydrogen. So, what's the solution for this? Well, we will see. All right, I'll be back to you. All righty, here's my salvation in this cardboard box. It doesn't look like it, but you will see. Unbox it, please. Oh boy, oh boy. Yep. Off. Ta da! This is it! This is gonna be my salvation. And as you can see, none of these are soldered, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> we are gonna make a kinda 24 volt battery pack. Man, I have never seen so many batteries in my life. Cool. So, I'm gonna get ready to do this probably then. I like the holder for this and everything. That's why I got this, this specific battery pack. And if you're wondering, these are 182 cells. 18650, 2900 milliamp hours. So that's gonna probably give a lot of power hopefully i mean i know it's gonna be a lot of power because i've calculated it Alrighty, the pack has been disassembled you might be wondering why did i do that well the layout of the cells was not correct for my desired application but hey I have never seen so many 18650s in my life until this point. It's pretty cool. You just grab a bunch. This is today's gold, basically. <laughs> There's also something funny. Can I grab it from here? These. You can hear. <laughs> These are placeholder cells, funnily enough. These are completely empty. They're super lightweight and they're just shorted. So they are just for the pack stability, nothing else. That's quite interesting. I've never seen that before. One fell down because they are round and roll around. Well, so yeah, I'm gonna choose a layout and put them back in the holder. And then I will have to solder my uh, insanity, uh, I mean my sanity away on these. And then I'll have to install the BMS and that's basically it. I have measured these. These are all exactly the same voltage, so that's nice. I'm not gonna touch them. Mm, and yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, I've put the cells in this box. We have here 182 18650 cells with 2,900 milliamp hours 
and yeah I'm gonna put them in the holder again now in my configuration which I need which is 7s a bit more than 24 volts so let's move back to the bench got here the cell holder which is this part right here because it's gonna be sandwiching the cells again and yeah it's actually pretty convenient because this cell holder already has one two three four five six seven here so i'm gonna put all them series connections like this and then all the parallel strings are gonna go alongside like this so yeah now it's stacking time and time for a time lapse let's go Here's the finished reconstruction. We have all these strings here now. And we can see these are gonna be the series connections. Something like this or like this. It really doesn't matter, it only matters how you connect it on the other side then. But yeah. And uh, probably yeah, these have to be all connected in series as well. So the current equalizes because can't just connect these series connections on one side because all the current is gonna flow through there and it's not what we want. We want a homone homogeneous battery pack. Yeah, Pretty good word. So yeah, these parallel strings you can see that and this is 7S, seven, 7 series. 7 series, 26 parallel. That's gonna be the pack. And yeah, this will now I have to go on top of here, but yeah, this has to be wrangled in place because it fits pretty tight. This assembling this was not easy and I do not think putting it on is gonna be any easier. So yeah. Ah yeah, there's also these side pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna install by those. I, I probably will just to have the Yes. Good stabilized battery pack. This, this and yeah, these are the placeholder cells, which are here. These are empty shorted shells, like I mentioned. I did some research and I didn't find anything related to batteries like this because they even have the, the marking. Maybe if it tries to focus, maybe it's the zoom. Pretty positive. BAK and 18650CL29Z457L11. That doesn't mean anything apparently because these are empty, like I mentioned. Yeah, perfect. And funny thing was, I was trying to charge, <laughs> charge the batteries at the beginning because I thought hmm, maybe they are just bad batteries, but no, they are just empty. So on that note, I'm gonna leave again and be back when this is put together. I have to put the other plate on it. Well, enough talk. Here is the finished product. Put the top piece, bottom piece, cells in the right orientation. You saw me hammering them, yeah, hammering the top one with a, a rubber hand, obviously, because you don't want to hit these with metal or anything. That would be not ideal. So, yeah, now comes the soldering part of soldering this together because I do not have a spot welder. I would not spot weld these together, anyways. So yeah, let me prepare 7 million bridges, 5 tons of solder, 11 pounds of rosin, and 
probably they will have to do this over several days actually <laughs> that's gonna be a monumental task to solar i'm gonna probably time lapse some of it but yeah not all of it because that would be insane let's go Alrighty, this is the progress of today. Funny enough, I yeah, I do not have electricity to solder more because today was a somewhat cloudy day and my batteries are pretty rotten, so I gotta stop here. But yeah, look at my beautiful spot welds, guys. Look at them. Yeah, joking aside, I have always sold at batteries and I'm pretty good at it. I am pretty confident this is not going to do anything to them whatsoever. So yeah, quite the challenge. One side and the other side. Yeah, the other side. That's gonna take a long time. Alrighty, here's the progress. Almost got one side complete the only thing missing is the positive bus bar connection over there all the series connections here are done and yeah, I still have to do this on the other side so yeah now you can see how this will work you can imagine each of these rows is a two parallel seven series pack one two three four etc and this will be connected in parallel over these. I can explain. But yeah, now it's more visible. I'll probably explain how I solder these batteries without overheating them. Uh, but yeah, most people will not find that interesting because they are too scared to solder batteries. But yeah, I have a pretty good experience. And yeah, I have done this for a long time, so I know what I'm doing. You also need the right equipment. You can't use a puny soldering iron with 50 watts. That's not gonna work. So yeah, I'll be back when I have done some more progress and I'll probably insert a video of how I solder this. Alrighty guys, here's my small intermission how I solder these batteries. It's probably gonna be pretty useless because nobody's gonna uh, try this anyways. But hey, I'll show it anyways. So, what do I use? Well, you have your bucket of rosin, some solder, scraping tool, and the most massive soldering gun that has ever existed. Well, there will be another bigger one, but I'll show that on my channel eventually. So, let me show you. I'm gonna give the phone to my brother. The first step is to generously scrape the top of the battery. This. Scrape, scrape, scrape. When I remove the oxides, this is like a five or ten minute thing. After that, you have to do it again because it oxidizes again. Next, take a bit of rosin, dip your tip in it, take a bit of solder, put it a bit on the battery, like this. Now, this doesn't heat up the battery because we have a layer of flux, so the tin has no contact with the battery. So, when we solder, we first heat up the tin, then we scrape the battery, and at this moment, that's when you have to let go, because then you heat up the battery. So, it's a super quick thing. You can see, you have a solar torch there. It's small, but it's good enough. Spot welds aren't any bigger, as you can see. And yeah, the current that can flow there is good enough. So yeah, that's how, you, how I solder these batteries. It's kind of tedious, more tedious than spot welding, but 
Yeah, I do not have any experience with spot welding or a spot welder, so I'll do it this way. Eventually. Well, well, well. If you look at that. And this is not the only side that is finished. Yeah, that's it. I did it. I only have to connect the PMS. It is this thing. But that shouldn't be so hard. I need the high power cable for the minus and plus connections. But yeah. You can see my serious parallel connections here. This is it, I almost bit of more than I could chew with this battery pack, but yeah, alas, it is done. So, I'm gonna connect the BMS and see if it works. Okay, that was a ginormous struggle to fixate all of this, but yeah, it works as you can see. Current is there. BMS is connected. Had to solder this. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Here are all the balancing leads. One side over here, the other side over here. We have the battery minus connections on this side. See them here. Each one soldered. Their respective spot, EMS, connectors, have some big connectors for the output. Yeah, it's finished. This must be one of the craziest things I've ever, I have ever soldered together. That's for sure. Okay, now let me show you how I uh, tint these thick wires. But as you like it here. This here was my setup to thin the thick wires. You see, this is one of the empty batteries that came with the pack. So I fixated a handle, I opened it. Yeah, it's full of solder, so. It's a makeshift solder pot, so I just put the wires in there. Heat it, heat it up with a blowtorch and yeah, that's how I did it. And here it is, boys and girls. All installed in the shed for the battery. Charger one, charger two, and yeah, it is indeed working. So that's gonna be the video. I'll see you next time. Later.